what you need is an empty weapon display in Link's house, then you will need the real Master Sword and the weapon that has a modifier that you want to put on a different weapon, and I'll start off by equipping a weapon other than the Master Sword, and then what you need to do is zuggling, if you know how to zuggle you can skip ahead, but I will also show you how to do it, and at first I will show you how to do it on the version 1.1.2 and then how to do it faster on the older versions. For 1.1.2 you want to face a straight wall and have the camera behind Link, take out your bow and pause, and next you want to drop around 15 to 20 items, they can be weapons, bows or shields, just don't drop your equipped items. Next you want to drop your equipped shield and equip a different one, and the same for the bow. Then you're going to hold L and press plus at the same time, and that will bring up the ability menu where you want to make sure that the map is selected. Now when you let go of L, you want to spam left on the d-pad to bring up the shield menu, and then press X to drop the shield, and spam right on the d-pad to open the bow menu. Now drop your bow with the X, and the map should automatically come up. If you miss any of those quick menus for dropping your items, that's fine, just continue the setup as normal, otherwise you might have to restart from the very beginning. Now in the menu, hold down on the control stick and press B to unpause. You will see that Link is now holding two shields and two bows, and now we need to continue doing this until Link can no longer hold more items, and they will start dropping on the floor, and you know you are done when there are more items on the floor than you can pick up. And now I'll show it again. So take out your bow, pause, drop 15 to 20 items. Drop your equipped one, equip another, drop equipped, equip, L and pause, map, left on the d-pad, drop, right on the d-pad, drop, hold down, and pause. And then you can see that there are even more items only. Next I will show you how to do it faster on the earlier versions, so you want to come up to a straight wall, face away from it, and then hold L for the ability menu, and here you want to choose the map, and then when letting go of L you want to spam right on the d-pad for the weapon menu, and you want to drop your weapon, spam right again to open the weapon menu again, and equip a different weapon just other than the master sword, and now you want to spam left on the d-pad for the shield menu, drop your equipped shield, spam left again, and equip a different shield. Now the map comes up, press plus, and drop those same items from your inventory. And that is luckling on the earlier versions. And now you repeat this until Link starts dropping items on the floor. You may also do only the shield, or only the weapon, if you feel more comfortable that way, but it is a little slower. Every now and then you want to try equip a weapon, and see if it drops on the floor or through the floor, instead of appearing in Link's hand and that's how you know that you are done zuggling. Now that weapons have started appearing at Link's feet, we are done with zuggling and we can move on to the next part. I'm going to use Recall to demonstrate what happens when you equip the Master Sword. We will see that it very briefly appears between Link's feet, but when in Recall you can see it better. If the Master Sword does not appear there, equip a different weapon and do a few more zuggles. Now that the Master Sword has disappeared from the floor, you can drop the weapon that has the modifiers you want, and then picking it up should move the modifiers to the Master Sword. However, if you've done too many zuggles, the modifiers will not move, and we need to fix that. First make sure that when you equip the Master Sword it will drop on the floor, which it does, and now we need to undo a little bit of zuggling by taking off Link's pants. Now dropping and equipping the weapon should move the modifiers to the Master Sword. Don't worry about the legs, that's the way Nintendo intended the game to be played. Now you want to walk over to your weapon display and place your weapon there. It will actually place the Master Sword, and now we can save and load the game. When loading, the game will see that you have somehow lost the Master Sword from your inventory, and it will place a new one there, but you also get to keep the modified Master Sword on your weapon stand.
Next we want to make sure that we have space in the inventory for a new weapon, as we need to pick up the modified Master Sword from the stand. Now we need to drop the weapon that we want to put the modifiers on, and then pick it up. Then save the game and load. When loading, the game will see that you have two Master Swords, and it's going to remove the extra Master Sword, however it is not going to remove the modifier, which means that it gets passed on to the next weapon. You have now copied the modifier to a new weapon without losing any durability on it. And you can easily continue to do this from here for more weapons. As you can see, Zuggling is still active, so all we need to do is make sure that the Master Sword still drops when equipped, and we can continue copying modifiers to new weapons. Once you are done, we will still need to get rid of Zuggling as it can affect things such as not being able to use your weapons or your abilities. And to do this, you want to drop your equipped weapons shields and bows, and then unpause the game to make sure everything drops on the floor, and then load your save. 